Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. The road did it again, man. He came back and blessed me. He, he here. I promise he here. Hey, I'm leaving with something this time. <laughs> it's the first time Thank I ever God. left a podcast with a plaque. Real talk. And Dope. I got the hoodie, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you. man. One of my favorite colors, the cowboy colors. You know what I'm saying? I rock with that, man. Check out the 6-3 and all that. Shout out to Boss Talk 101. Real talk. Boss talk. What up, what up, what up? It's your homie, DeRoe Muse, a.k.a. 63, man. Y'all make sure y'all check out Boss Talk 101 with Money Moses, ECO, and Mr. Jamaica, you feel me? Real talk. Uh-huh. Take it, man. My boy, DeRoe. Music is in the building. 63. Uh-huh. What's going on, man? Ah, uh, man, I'm good. You know, I'm recovering from uh that 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 whole man. Cowboy lock. Didn't it hurt? Day, Didn't yeah. it hurt? Yeah, man. We weren't supposed to get out there no first round. Man, man we don't know, you? Don't we don't you? got no business losing to the 49ers don't and you? Dallas. Did yeah. you, how did you come up with that song as far as how you would lay Star it out? Star Baby. Yeah. So, Star Baby by Big Mo was it's one of my favorite songs. Like, when I got on to the Texas mu- music scene, like junior high, from junior high going to high school, like I was real influenced by what was going on in Texas. Okay. Lil Flip, Swisher House, mm-hmm. Big Mo, Fat, all that, you know what I'm saying, all the way up into the DSRs, you know what I'm saying, all the way. You know, of course, just everything that was going on in Texas during that time, I was real influenced by. Like, I was one of the, I was one of the, me and my homies in, high, in junior high and high school, we was the one that was like breaking Texas music to, we was the prideful ones. Like, we, everybody was jamming this, we was always putting people on the Texas shit first. Mm-hmm. And if something would come out of Dallas, like when DSR, came out i would i would even say like me and my homies we probably the ones blew up help blew up the so because we was that tight like we we was real prideful i always been prideful about what we got you know what i'm saying so when the texas move can't move a movement came or just the stuff that was coming out of houston and even dallas and just you know uh uh ugk and all that i was that was sticking to me when you get it popping um <clears throat> so I, and I'll go back to that uh, Hit a Lick when y'all did that video. Y'all was somewhere in Dallas? Yeah, we, we shot up. Uh, that Joe Poole or where was y'all at? No, no, actually, oh, Saint, we, Lake Ray Hubble, where was y'all at? We was at uh, Texas Ski Ranch. That's, okay. That's in, uh, that's by San Antonio, actually. That's oh, by, so y'all uh, down by San Antonio. That's, damn, what city is it? Uh, hey, sure, what city was that? Oh, okay, sure, no. Uh, I forgot. It, it's right by San Antonio, in between San Antonio and I was just, uh, I forgot the actual city, but it's called Texas Ski Ranch. Really? They they do concerts at the ski ranch. I was booked there two weeks before we shot that video. And uh, we did a show with me and uh, Young Blue. The, uh, we had a show there. And then uh, when I did the show, I, when I was leaving the show, I saw the flyers. They was promoting Sauce Walker. Man, Sauce Walker uh, had missed the time we was going to shoot his scene in Dallas. So I was like, I, I liked the ski ranch. I was impressed by it, and I saw he had a show. So I was, I just told so I was that shit. I'm gonna come down for the show, and we are gonna shoot this scene down Dope. there. Cause I was like, shit, nigga, I already see what your scene for the B. We already seen the boats and stuff like yeah. that. We ran it out. Brought, we brought, you know, I brought his scene. We brought the girls and just had fun. Really, we just had a little time. kickback, little party, turned into his scene for the video. Spoke UGK's name, but yeah. we we've been tributing uh, uh, Pimp C. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. just I always ask people what Pimp C meant to them, you know, for Texas yeah. people, you know, like us. Yeah, so I'm, I'm upset because Pimp C is like one of the only Texas legends that I didn't get to meet. I got yeah, popping, I, I got popping it. right after he, you know, passed, whatever. So, because in that time, I, it was a when I was at PV and it was popping, that's when I was in the mix in Houston and I was meeting everybody at this time. I was meeting Lil Flip and everybody, Power Wall and Slump Thug, just by moving around, going to the clubs. and. And I was anticipating meeting Pimp C, but it had, you know, he had passed, so I didn't get to meet him. But as far as what he mean, you know what I'm saying, UGK, Pimp C, Bon B, they mean everything. Even Bon B, like, to this day, one of my favorite things about Bon B that I still, that I uh, fuck with is he brought, he he capitalized on the lingo, you know what I'm saying, even the trill and shit. That's why I say even start, baby. I say trill OG, that's really a... That's really a bomb B phrase, but it's Texas. I, I'm basically trying to encourage artists like, look, nigga, we got culture out here. Y'all, y'all need to use this shit. Y'all gonna win by using our culture. That's right. Texas culture, Dallas culture, even Houston artists, y'all use that culture. In Houston, they got, I, I forgot who got that record. It's popping right now. They redid the My Dougie. The, 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 the tone of Houston you know? did? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I wanna say, don't quote me, I, I, I wanna say it's, it's Fast Lane. 
I think he redid the song, but it, if it wasn't him, it was somebody. But it's popping in the clubs out there. Really? It's not the Dougie. It's just the the, the same cadence. The same cadence. The, you, you know it when you hear it. Same what you calling. But the song popping, though. You know what I'm saying? So it... it I, I be telling people all the time, like if we use our shit, we win more. You're gonna win faster using our own shit that we already got. What up, what up? It's your homie DeRoe Music, aka 63, man. Y'all go check out the new interview on Boss Talk 101. Y'all already know what it is, the Road Music 63. Uh-huh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.